everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video we are going to learn about the requirements engineering process in the subject of software engineering this is going to be a very short and a quick video of what requirement engineering process is what exactly requirement engineering means what are the different steps you have in that so about each of them we will try to understand in the next coming videos but for now let's have a high level overview of what this topic is first of all what is the requirement engineering requirement engineering is nothing but it is a process of finding out what a software system should do and making sure that everybody will understand everything clearly before starting the development or before starting the uh, building a website or whatever it is before starting you just want to make sure that everybody is understanding everything clearly so that you don't have to waste anything later okay for example uh, let's say you are building a house okay this is a very simple example for you to understand this you are building a house and you are building a house for someone not for you okay you are a civil engineer or you are a builder you are building a house for somebody you will not directly go and blindly build the house right first you will ask the owner how they want their house how many rooms they want what colors they want to use how many floors they want uh what everything what whatever everything you will ask them then based on what they have asked you you will come up with a plan okay a picture or a presentation or something you will come up with it you will show that plan to the owner again and if the owner is okay you will you will continue and you will build the house if the owner is not okay then you will again do some changes according to what changes he asked and then you will come up with the plan and once he says okay then only you will start building the house so this is nothing but requirement engineering process okay you keep on refining 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 the requirements and finally you come up with the final set of requirements with which you can go forward okay this is the requirement engineering process and again in in another words you can also say this is understanding analyzing documenting checking and managing what the user wants in a system first you have to understand you have to analyze them and you have to document everything and you have to check it whether you can do this or not whether this requirement is really needed for this software or not and you have to be able to manage it manage in the sense you will have different requirements you will have the front end requirements you will have the back end requirements same in the house example itself you want a plumber you want an electrician you want a carpenter you want a uh, what not painting people you want so many people right whether you have all those people with you or not whether you can bring all those people and whether you can do this project or not okay all those things will be will be done in this requirement engineering process and in this requirement engineering process we have four simple steps to further break it down first is a feasibility study second is a requirement elicitation and analysis requirement validation and requirement management so don't worry i'll explain about each of these in detail in the next coming videos so for now that's all for this video so thanks for watching the video it i know it's a very short video i just wanted to give you an introduction of what requirement engineering is and why do you exactly need it before going into the details so that's all for this video guys if you have any questions or comments let me know in the comment section and if you have any video recommendations for me let me know that also in the comment section and thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic thank you